Yes, that's right. I'm back for another video. Yep, I'm back reporting you the news that you can use, at least hopefully anyway. It's a must-see video. It's a video uh, depicting Tiny Harris. Yeah, she got violated, y'all. And I'm not talking about her body. I'm talking about her pockets, her bank account. Uh, a jury to be exact. All right. Channel 2's news local anchor system uh, news station brought it out here in Atlanta, Georgia today that none other than T.I.'s wife, Tiny Koto Harris, got grabbed of $750,000 worth of jewelry stolen from her SUV Lamborghini. Okay, she was attending the Tyler Perry's uh, new opening of a studio he um, recently, uh, what do you call it, not, well, I guess he would call it built from the ground up, a new studio he's having being opened and shown right now to the celebrities, the who's who, the creme de la creme crowd of entertainment. He had a little uh, hosting fest, a celebration of him um building another construction of a studio for his Atlanta um, content and creation that he goes and make movies and allow other people to come in and make movies on his production set. So it's a, a fanfare, five-star studded events of the who's who coming to check out Tyler Perry's new studio here in Georgia. And as the thing was going on, and Tia and Tiny were in the building. Somebody was ripping them off of all her jewelry that she bought herself or Ti had gifted her. All right, now, you know the conspiracy theories are coming out. And I am along, right along with them trying to figure out, uh, Tiny, why do you have that much jewelry on you and you're not wearing it? Why do you didn't keep that at home in your safe deposit box? Because I know you got one, you and Ti. Okay, my questions are... You know, did you not like the gifts, the gaudy jewelry, that big, thick, gargantua type of jewelry T.I. had uh, generously lavished on you? Far be it from me, maybe with some cheating scandals he was trying to get ahead of, and he was just draping you with all this jewelry that, you know, more than likely looked like costume jewelry, but no, T.I., it was real, okay? So, I, some of the jewelry that you were wearing on your birthday, and he had put in some wine glasses and stuff of how he was lavishing you with gifts and trips. Um, and all that kind of uh, fanfare. Some of that jewelry looked kind of like motif, uh, motish, of uh, back when they were having the rappers come out, you know, Rappers Delight and, and uh, Run DMC, you know, all them thick pieces of chain of gold jewelry on them, and we knew it was just gold. It, it wasn't plated or anything of that nature. It was solid gold. So I know, like, why is he giving her all that kind of gaudy type jewelry? That don't look presentable for everyday wear, you know. So I didn't pay it no mind. So that was just one of my theories of she just got tired of that ugly looking jewelry. She just said, oh, I'm going to throw caution to the wind. Maybe somebody will, will steal it. And I, and I don't have to be worried about it. And I can buy me something else that I really want and really would enjoy wearing on a daily basis. Or did, you know, are you having financial trouble, honey? Is T.I. not bringing in the loot like he once was? You know, I know you got that. Uh, hustle family thing still going on of a sitcom show for us, the viewers. And you know, you having uh, other business dealings, you just open up that smoothie shop or some kind of uh, eat healthy type uh, establishment you don't got yourself into, or you know, maybe you're financing you know other people's projects and the money running low. You know, did you want to get the insurance money or something? I mean, that's what the streets talking, and I'm kind of inclined to believe some of it myself. You know what I'm saying? Uh, or you just want some new jewelry and that just wasn't doing it for you. You know, you needed to scale down. You didn't want to wear all that gaudy stuff that T.I. was buying you. You had your eyes on something else. So you're going to use the insurance money to buy exactly what you wanted. Or, you know, was you high, honey? Was you and T.I. high? I mean, I don't understand. You go to a very uh, pristine type of 
formal event and you just arbitrarily going to sit there and leave close to a million dollars worth of jewelry just laying around in your SUV. That's kind of suspect at the best, at the most. And I'm sure when I will full county um sheriffs or, or deputies or, or officers came on the scene, uh they were probably just floored too and appalled at your indiscretion of leaving valuable jewelry like that laying around like you got it like that. I'm like, oh, okay. Most people that got it like that, they had that shit locked up or in a vault somewhere and either in a bank institution or it's in their home and, and, and it's very well secured if you get my drip, okay? So I, the people just want to know, okay, and me too, I'm on the bandwagon. I just want to know what silliness promoted you to wear all this excessive jewelry that you felt like you wasn't going to need. And you just thought, okay, I'm at Tyler Paris Diggs, you know, in his park, a lot of what now. I know he got top-notch security. So, you know, was it a play to get money from uh, Tyler Perry to pay? Or uh, do you think he's going to sit there and write you a check for $750,000 or some jewelry that you should have left at home or definitely could have approached him to say, can you put this in your uh, safe if it's possible? Because, you know, I was dressing with my jewelry and I just couldn't understand or I, I couldn't decide what I wanted to wear for your gala. So, you know, I brought a little bit too much. Can you help a sister out and lock this package up for me? Okay, you could have did that, Tiny, but, you know, like I said, it's kind of suspect. We're looking at you on all, you know, I got four eyes. I got two pair of glasses. Well, you know, I got glasses on. I got two pair of eyes, you know, one of each face, you know. So, uh, one on each side of my face. So, I'm, I'm kind of looking at you like, girl. What I'm going with was you hide, was you draw, and you just threw caution to the wind and forgot that you had that kind of jewelry, or were you just trying to get some insurance on the girl because you ain't like that goddess shit to you about you and you want to get something else of your liking, of your taste. But that was my opinion. That's my spiel on what I feel about it. Let me go on and get into the article that they wrote up on this issue that you're having in the press, okay? It was by, we had a tag team duo writing this article from Channel 2 Action News Station, uh, Michael Seiden and uh, Andrea or uh, Audrey Washington. Okay, they titled it 750K plus. I mean, it could have been up in the millions, like I said, worth of jewelry stolen from Tina Harris Lamborghini. Okay, her SU uh, Lamborghini. It says Atlanta. T Tamika Tiny Harris, reality star, a scape singer, and wife of rapper T.I. had more than $750,000 worth of jewelry stolen from her car on Sunday night. Atlanta police confirmed the theft to Channel 2's Michael Seiden Monday morning. Wedding rings, watches, and stud earrings were among the jewelry taken from the center console of her yellow Lamborghini SUV. Okay. Harris told police the theft happened while she and her friend were grabbing drinks at a bar. Uh, Offerman, where the hell, Alfie in Midtown Atlanta. Offerman, something like that. She returned to her car around 9.45 p.m. to find her blue velour bag containing the jewelry gone. Okay, sound like a personal hit to me, Tiny. Sound like a personal hit to me, because I really thought it happened at the little gala with Tyler Perry, so please excuse the video. I might take them out <laughs> so we won't have Tyler Perry looking like you know, he uh, will have to reimburse her for her coming uh, to his lavish event. So I'm about to delete those pictures because initially I had them in there thinking that's what it was. But it seems like Tiny was out with one of her girlfriends at a local bar and, and grill, I guess, setting uh, on the day in question when she had her SUV broken into. Because we're talking about, you know, uh, 9.45 p.m., Heavy traffic area, I guess, of misdemeanor, miss, of felony things going on. Suspicious type of neighborhood. Uh, anybody know that, that live in Atlanta? Check it out. Let me know. Was it one of them areas Tiny shouldn't have been in in the first place? Or was it an upscale type of establishment? And they should have had security and cameras all the way around. But going back to the story, 
It said, um, police told Channel 2, Action News, there were no signs of a break-in or damage to the $200,000 SUV, but Harris told police she believed someone took the bag from her Lamborghini. Now, I'm like, okay, was your doors unlocked, Tiny? Tiny, because it's not saying that in the article. It just said it was si it was no signs of a break-in. So, did you leave your car unattended? You left the car doors open? Sound like a little setup to me, Tiny, but I'm just reading the article and forming my own opinions in my head. Okay, it goes back to the article by saying, I think they're... I think that you're always a target. Like if you drive something nice and people know that you're wealthy, restaurant customer Jonathan Turner said. On Monday, Channel 2's Audrey Washington spoke with two sources, one an APD, Atlanta Police Department, source who was at the restaurant that Sunday night. Both sources told Washington there was security in the parking lot and that did not wit and they did not witness anything suspicious. Uh, investigators hope video surveillance will drum up leads in case. Washington uh, reached out to the Harris family for comment. So far, she has not received a statement. Of course, they ain't going to comment. Because like I said in my initial my initial observation of this uh, subject matter, uh, Tiny, was you high, girl? Was, what, was, you, was you drinking and smoking? And or you had too many drinks? Prior to going to the restaurant, bar and grill, okay, what, what's going on, girl? The people want to know because it they sound fishy. It sound very fishy, honey. I don't know if you haven't found natural trouble over there, or you just wanted to get rid of your jewelry, or uh, that was too gaudy to wear, or hell, you just had. I don't know which one. I'm going through three to four different, five different opinions here. Let us know since you want to let us know that it got stolen from your SUV, Lamborghini, because it looked like they should have the Lamborghini as well, you know, because that was just as much as the cost of the jewelry. Well, no, it was a, a short by what, uh, five, five hundred grand. <laughs> Girl, these are rich folks' problems. Rich folks' problems. They got, they got a problem. I don't want to be rich. I do not want to do it because they make you do stupid things to get some change, okay? But that's all my, um, uh, antics and opinions i had on this article y'all let me know what y'all thought about this video and the content subject matter do you think tiny was just being um lack what do you call it lacking of adult to make a responsible decision to lock her shit up or do you think she's just irresponsible just an irresponsible person altogether okay when it comes to those type of matters all right, think she can't be touched or nobody would want to take anything from her in broad daylight or in a black or dead night, okay? This is what it is. A thief is a thief, but you don't just uh, post stuff up in there for them to definitely take advantage of. The car door wasn't unlocked. I mean, was, wasn't locked, so that's a telltale sign right there. Nice cars like that. They need to be on debt lock with a little security. If you get too close, it start to, you know, well off all these alarm, 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 too close to the vehicle, too close to the vehicle. You know, some of that going on. Especially with a Lamborghini of that uh, high uh, net worth, honey. Girl. But anyway, like I said, that's all I had on the video. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this outrageous story of Tiny getting $750,000 worth of jewelry stolen. Why she ain't have her wedding rings on her? Girl, you ain't single? Put that wedding band on. Let us know that you and T.I. still together, girl. All right. Good night.